beautiful color. Oh wow. Complete root, chewing surface, beautiful. Okay my friends, I just walked here and I saw I think it's a tooth. Let's look at it. Oh yes. Beautiful horse tooth which belongs to the maxilla, to the upper jaw. Yeah, yeah, you can see the chewing surface. Nice one. The second tooth of the day. Can you see it? Beautiful color. Oh wow. Complete root. Chewing surface. Beautiful. But, but look at this color. Wonderful piece. Okay, my friends, can you see the bone? There it is. Beautiful toe bone which belongs to a horse. Okay my friends, here's the next find. It's the next toe bone. And this belongs to a bison. I think, yeah, it, it could be from a bison. Okay, my friends, two toe bones. So, let's continue. Look at this piece. It's a piece with shells. The white pieces are shells, are bivalves. Interesting piece. I just picked up this piece of bone. It's huge. I think <coughs> this this has to be um, this uh, has to be belong to a woolly rhinoceros or woolly mammoth. Bison's don't have these massive bones from this size. So this has to be, in my opinion. Woolly rhinoceros or woolly mammoth. Nice piece. And I also found this bone cool looking and this piece this one yeah, this little one and it's something interesting
Okay, my friends, we are at home and I preserved all the bones. And yeah, if you want to know how I did that, how I preserved them, check one of my last videos out. Yeah, be sure to check that out. Yeah, so let's start with the teeth. This beautiful, beautiful horse tooth. Wonderful chewing surface, pretty well preserved. Complete root. Wonderful color. Pretty happy with that. And also the bison tooth. Yeah, here the chewing surface is a bit broken here, but yeah. The root is, is complete and it's pretty pretty well preserved. The color absolutely gorgeous that's one of my favorite teeth I uh, one of my favorite tooth I found so far and the, the with the complete root is is absolutely amazing it's so rare to find them in this detail it's complete nice one Let's continue with the uh, toe bones here, the one of uh, the of the of a horse, and this one belongs to to a bison, I think, or a deer. Not not quite sure, but that's uh, for hundred uh, percent a horse toe bone. I found one. Uh, one one of them before and here yeah, that's my second one and I also have uh, one of these toe bones in my collection but not sure if it's uh, if it belongs to a bison or a deer yeah pretty happy with them then we have this huge piece of bone it's just a fragment but it's a huge piece of bone and um, I think it belongs to to a woolly mammoth or a woolly rhinoceros I don't think a bison has has this huge um, piece of bone I can't think about one one bone uh, which belongs to a bison And we have this interesting piece of bone. It's pretty thin, you see that. Um, not quite sure what kind of bone that could be. If you have an idea, let me know in the comments. And then we have also this piece. And now fossils which are much older, you see this is a shell and this is also a shell and there's a shell piece and here's one and I think they are around 30 million years old so they belong um, to the Oligocene um, period. So that's quite interesting in that you can see that you can find Ice Age fossils and much older material um, in, in, in the same place, in the same location. So there is a Ice Age layer and a, I think Oligocene layer, yeah, or, but it's much older than, than the Ice Age fossils for sure. And then we have um, this piece also. You see there are a huge, there's a huge amount of shells, of little shells, all around the stone. And you can see here one. 
it's full of little little snail shells I'm really really happy with the results with all the fossils I found on today's fossil hunt and if you enjoyed it please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that and yeah that's it for today see you next time